If you plan to recycle used cells for this project, make sure to combine only cells with similar capacity and internal resistance. Many chargers for 18650 cells allow you to measure those values. When using new cells, there is no need to do that. Very important before we start working with the cells. The contact on the top is the plus terminal and all the rest of the cell behind the heat shrink tubing has negative voltage. That means when vibrations or mechanical strain destroy the heat shrink tubing, the cell is likely to produce a short circuit, which is something you don't want to happen with a lithium cell. Good cells can reach half the energy density of TNT, so you don't want to upset them in any way. An easy option to avoid this issue is the use of these adhesive cardboard rings. That is six cells finished, now it's time to present them their new home. The cells on the right side must show their positive terminal, the left side is the negative terminal. For the purpose of soldering, we extract the cells with the battery holders from the case. Cleaning the contacts is always a good idea, no matter if the cells are new or used ones. In the next step, we bend some silver wire in a rectangular shape to connect the upper and lower cells of the package. This step is only done on one side. Now we start soldering the wire to the cells. Keep in mind, excess heat will damage the electrodes of the cell, so make sure to heat them up only for short periods of time. Use the soldering iron with at least 30 watts. When done with the rectangle, we just cut a piece of wire to form a bridge for the cells sitting in the middle. After soldering, make sure that every connection sits tight. In general, avoid cold solder joints. Now we need to solder the cable that allows the BMS to access the individual packs. It is required to balance the cell packs against each other. After that is done, we isolate all the positive contacts with gaffer, just to make sure that short circuiting is as hard as possible. Then we connect all of the negative contacts with the silver wire. This will be the battery's negative terminal. Again, check for cold solder joints. Afterwards, leave 4 cm of excess wire, cut the rest and put some heat shrink tubing onto the silver wire, but don't shrink it yet. Now, repeat all the steps for the positive terminal of the battery. When finished, it is time to integrate the BMS. It will be fixed to the cells with double-sided sticky tape. Before soldering the BMS, we have to push the silver wire through the provided slots of the upper base plate and glue the base plate to the main case. Make sure the overlap is the same on both sides of the pack. Just test the fitment before starting to glue the parts together. When finished, it should look like this. Now we are ready to solder the BMS. Regarding the order in which the connections are made, you have to read the documentation for your BMS. The BMS linked in the description requires the following order. At first, the negative terminal, B-. Second is the cable we solder to the middle of the pack, the red one. It is connected to the pad labeled BM. Third is the positive terminal of the pack and it is soldered to the B plus pad of the BMS. Orient the BMS so that the solder pads for the battery connections point to the silver wire coming from the battery. Now you just cut the silver wire and it should end exactly above the solder pad labeled B- and then solder it to the pad. After this step, we cover the BMS with gaffer tape, especially the parts close to the pad labeled BM. This will help not to short circuit any of the components while soldering. Then cut the red cable and solder it carefully to the pad labeled BM. Afterwards, cut the wire of the positive terminal so it ends above the pad labeled B plus and solder it to the pad. Now our BMS should be live. In the next step, we will modify our bullet connectors. We fix them in a vise and cut off their back end. My first try ended a bit too short. The second cut is perfect. You don't want to see a hollow center. When this is done, we solder our copper wire to the bullet connectors. One for the plus, one for the minus. These cables will later be soldered to the power outs of the BMS. Before we can do that, we have to insert the bullet connectors into the provided holes of the lower base plate. You insert the cables from the outside and push the connector in until it moves no more. Please pay attention to the right polarity. 
Afterwards, just add a drop of super glue from the opposite side of the hole to fix the connector in place. When done, we fix the base plate in a wax and cut the connectors to the right length. The piece poking out must be one, either two millimeters long. Before we continue further, we check the fitment of the lower base plate against the battery slot of our device. A video light in my case. If you see that everything fits, we can proceed with the next steps. At this point, we can solder the cables that wire the bullet connectors to the power outs of the BMS. Again, cover the neighboring components with gaffer tape. Test fit the lower base plate to the upper one and cut the wires to an adequate length. Since the pads are so close to each other, accidentally connecting them would be easy, so try to avoid it. Make sure you have a steady hand and finally solder the wires to the pads. The red one goes to P+, the black one to P-. Now that everything is soldered, we can activate the BMS. The datasheet says this is done by connecting the battery to a power source with 8.4 up to 9 volts. I just used my charger. Afterwards we can check the voltage of the package. So far so good. This looks right. Now we know that everything works. In the next step we stick the BMS to the double sided tape. Then we glue the base plates together. Make sure the edges are flush. For protection we put some sticky sponge rubber over the contacts of the cells. And then we finally glue the side covers to the case. Congratulations if you came that far. Now you know how to build your own smart battery. I wish you all the best, have a nice day, yours truly, Hobson Robson.